Okay, are we on? We are on. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to this meeting of the Amherst Design Review Board. My name is Catherine Porter, as chair of the Amherst Design Review Board. I call this meeting to order. Uh, as noted, we are meeting uh, via Zoom, so there will be no in-person contact. Uh, the public may weigh in uh, through Zoom if they wish. Uh, we will begin with a roll call of the members of the Design Review Board who have been impaneled for the consideration of the items on tonight's agenda. Uh, Eric Azikos. Present. Okay. Uh, Tom Long. Present. Okay. Uh, Catherine Davis and Lindsay Schnarr, who are members of the Design Review Board, are not here tonight. Also in attendance is Maureen Pollock, Planner and Staff Liaison to the Design Review Board. The Design Review Board and its accompanying zoning regulations were created by town meeting in uh, October of 1983. The, the charge and purpose of the Design Review Board under Section 3.2 of the Zoning Bylaw is to preserve and enhance the town's cultural, economic, and historical resources by providing for a detailed review of all changes in land use, the appearance of structures, and the appearance of sites which may affect these resources. The Design Review Board exercises this responsibility by providing design review and recommendations to private applicants and permit granting boards within specific overlay zoning districts in the town center the Design Review Overlay District and the Town Common Design Review Overlay District. Design Review was also provided for town departments and permit granting boards with respect to town projects anywhere in Amherst, which will result in substantial alterations to the form or appearance of a structure or site. All Design Review Board meetings are open to the public and are recorded by the town staff. Each meeting will be uploaded to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel for public viewing. The procedure is as follows. The petitioner presents the application to the board during the meeting, after which the board will ask questions for clarification or additional information. After the board has completed its questions, the board will deliberate. If the board feels it has enough information and time, it will decide upon recommendations for each respective application. Once the board has voted on its recommendations, the staff liaison will type up the recommendation for distribution to the applicant, board, applicable land use board, and building commissioner. Tonight's agenda will be, uh, okay, uh, app, we have three applica applicants, DRBFY 2022-11, Mexicalito tap taco bar. We're going to review the proposed two signs under section 3.20 of the zoning bylaw located at Mexicalito taco bar 17 Kellogg uh, Avenue. Uh, so do we have, Maureen, do we have uh, an applicant here or? We yes, uh, oh. we have uh, Jen Albury, um, who's okay. present, who is uh, the owner of uh, Mexico Lido uh, okay. Taco Bar. Sure. So let's hear from Jen. Sure. So Good evening. Jen... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, okay. Thank you. Um, so we're proposing to add two signs to the side of 17 Kellogg Avenue. Um, our big intention with this is just to get a little more visibility um, from the street as folks walk downtown. Um, Maureen, would you like me to share my screen or will yeah, you share Yeah, that'd be the great. Yep. Okay. And uh, Jen earlier um, emailed me some photos of the existing conditions um, of the of the building facades, if you guys okay. wanna see that as a reference. Alrighty, can everyone see my screen okay? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. So this is how the building is currently. We are proposing that we put, oh, um, one sign on the previous image and one on the already existing kind of two poles, which I think um, previous tenants had been using. Um, I could uh, show you what we are proposing. It's basically just our um, logo in black and white. Mm -hmm. uh, it matches exactly the text and the, um, and the, the font of our awning 
for example. Mm -hmm. um, and it would be uh, highlighted with a spotlight in the evening so that folks could see it from um, Main Street. But those would be the two additions that we would like to add. Okay. okay, so where was the other one? I see this one, but where, remind me where the uh, other sign is. Okay. And how it's already existing, for example. Like, um, so this is the second image that I showed. And then, okay. sorry, I can zoom box blocks my arrows here. Um, this is the view from the street. So it would be right here. Okay. And the hanging flag. Uh -huh. And then this is the existing building. So it's kind of like right where that shadow line is. Okay. Um, we're gonna work with um, Sunrise Printing. He's been very good with us and he has given us very good advice. Um, we mm -hmm. have not, we have mentioned the project to him but we haven't confirmed anything 100% um, with him only because we wanted to come here first and just make sure that we are on the right track for um, adding a sign in those two places. But you can see the, the awning here. Yes, um, yeah. It has the very similar um, color and text scheme. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Jen, would you say that the where the proposed wall sign is located, um, you could see it along the walkway leading back towards North Pleasant Street? That's correct. Yeah. And so the idea would be in the little garden we have here, have one of the solar panel kind of spotlights that we already have shining on the building um, just to illuminate the sign. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I wondered it. I, I certainly like the sign. I like the design. Um, I'm just wondering if a little pop of color, some red on those signs might um, give them a little more, I don't know, appeal. Uh, it, may, it may be beyond the what you've planned or maybe it's a cost factor. I don't know if others feel the same way um, to, because black and white is such a good, it's such a good combo, uh, but a little red or green or something like you have on your awning might uh, be more, might add to what you need is some eye catching to uh, attract people there. That's just my thought. But, okay, would others like to chime in? Uh, we have Erica and Tom. What are you thinking, Tom? Sure. Thanks, Catherine. Um, and thanks, Jen, for the presentation. Um, I, I don't have any problems with the signs as they are in terms of color. Um, I mean, I think for maybe consistency sake, you could drop that um, red, green, and white bar across the bottom as you've done elsewhere. Um, but I, I, I think um, I think it's pretty minimalist and I'm a minimalist and I'm okay, <laughs> okay yeah. with that. Um, I think um, one thing I will, a uh, question I did have is you, you mentioned an up light here on this particular um, side of the building. Is there an up light on the flag sign you have on the street? Or is that so one not, not illuminated? Um, not currently. I think the street okay. lighting is much better, but I do think that it would be a good idea to add, um, just okay. as that is the intention to, to be a little more luminous in, in the evening. Um, and we would totally be open to adding the bottom of the red, green, and white, very similar to our awning. Um, I think actually that was the yeah. feedback we got originally with our awning and, and to keep and maintain yeah. style that, that absolutely works. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like um, I would probably see along the street um, if there was enough light there, because I don't know if I'd want to drop another light on the street. Um, that seems to me to be a little bit more invasive just because there's neighbors and there's, I don't know, it just, it feels like a different kind of sign. Uh, I'm open to others in the group, they had their feedback as well. Um, I'm okay with the lighting, up lighting on the other side though. Um, because I feel like it's going to hit the wall, whereas I feel like if you're uplighting this, a lot of it's going to blow past the wall, and um, I kind of have concerns about that. So I'd rather see if this works. <laughs> if it doesn't work, then we can come back and talk about whether or not we need some lights on that. Thank you. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Erica? Sorry, trying to unmute. Um, thanks, Jen. I, I have... Um, 
I'm, I think the signs are great. I, I'm glad, I remember actually that we asked you about this particular location that you're showing now in your original proposal. And um, I think it's it's great that you're bringing a sign there. Um, the other one, I just, am I remembering correctly that there's one immediately around the corner? Um, yes, that, that's absolutely correct. And, and that one does also have the red, white, and green, um, similar to the awning. Okay, I guess there, I, what I would love to see is an alignment, either that the, the tops of the signs are the same as you turn the corner, um, or the, the bottom of the long skinny sign on the south side of the building aligns with the top of the uh -huh. sign that we're looking at here. And I think that you had another photograph that showed the, the other face, right? So you can imagine how one would have both of these signs in their, in their perspective at some point, and it would be nice to see them coordinated in alignment. Perfect. Okay. Agreed. Yeah. I'm wondering if that sign is really high enough. Uh, I'm sure you must have gone out on the street and looked down to see, you know, if it's uh, at the level that most people would be looking, or do you think uh, it would be? Yeah, we kind of gauged it. Um, off of the already existing poles. So these two poles here from the street yeah. have very good um, view. Yeah, okay, okay. And the other one too, the other one on the, on the front. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. You're, you're comfortable with that this one will be a high enough. Yes. To, okay, so that people will look down and see, okay. Okay, well you have, I think you have very handsome signs and uh, both signs look like they will, they will, uh, just add to uh, to the building. It doesn't look like you're over assigned. And uh, I have a so. clarifying question based yeah. on Erica's comments. So, Erica, if I'm understanding you correctly, did you want the the sort of the design of the site of the proposed and existing to be consistent, or the um, like the elevation of of the two signs? Yeah, I think right. the latter, Maureen, the, the latter, where the, the, I guess what I'm imagining is that the, the top of the sign on the south side of the building would serve as a guide for the location of the top yeah. of the new sign that's being proposed. Could we get the, um, this image side by side with um, where the, where you have your proposed sign? If you could, uh, I guess, open another window. Because I'm wondering if the yeah. existing sign should be lower. Um, yeah, I think what um, Erica said, though, is just to understand that uh, this existing side, uh, sign on the side be at the same height uh -huh. as, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That is not how it comes in the proposal, but that is absolutely a, a good piece of advice so that everything is kind of yeah. on the same yeah. Um, yeah. level. I think also I'll have to double check, but the existing kind of, um, rods that are on the other side of the building, I believe that they're at the same height. So everything would be in a similar like here. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, look good. That'd be good. Okay. And the between Zoom pages here. <laughs> Anything else from the board? Uh, so it seems like we're in agreement with a few uh, offering a few suggestions about uh, the lighting and the height of the sign. Is that correct? Uh, did I get, is that right, Maureen? Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. So All right. if I heard everyone correctly, is um, everyone like that the wall sign will be illuminated and um, that, that the wall sign will be at the same elevation height as the existing wall sign? <laughs> Uh -huh. And um, a suggestion about adding um, the Mexican flag, the color bar at the bottom of the wall sign. Yeah, if the, if she's inclined. Yeah. And in you know in in the future, if you realize that the flag, uh, the blade or flag sign does need lighting um, in the future, um, then you would need to come back uh, to the board. But at this time, it it, uh, it feels like maybe lighting isn't needed for the flag sign. Okay, good. All right. Do I hear a motion to that effect? So moved. Uh, second, Erica. Okay. Um, all in favor? 
raise your hands. Okay, very good. All right, Jen, thank you very much. Good thank you luck. so much for your time. I appreciate yeah. it. Okay. All right. So what do we have next here? Here. So there we go. Okay, so next up, let's see here. We have uh, David Groff from, from CAIA Association. Um, so okay. let me just pull him, make him a panelist. So just one okay. moment. <clears throat> And um, I did take a photograph from while I was getting coffee at, across the street from Amherst Coffee. So if you guys need a, um, uh, a yeah. refresher right. of what it looks like currently. Hi, David. If you could introduce yourself and um, show and explain your proposal. Certainly. Uh, thanks for the time. I appreciate that. We're very excited to be uh, in downtown, we have been uh, five years. Well, actually, we started in downtown uh, apparently back in 2003. Um, we are, our association spun out of the Eisenberg School of Business um, 20 years ago, and we are still in existence. We're an educational nonprofit, which teach people's good ethics about some alternative invest investments. It's kind of a niche field, um, but we are a global accreditation. Um, so we've been, um, on University Drive for the last five years, our lease is up and we needed a smaller space. Uh, I am the IT director, so um, I was elected and a leader, a, a executive leader too in the company because we're much a digital company. Um, uh, and, and we're global, offices in Geneva, Hong Kong, uh, real good presence. Uh, and we I'm very proud to represent Amherst. We really belong in downtown Boston or in New York City, but we won't leave our footsteps of the, the flagship of UMass. Um, I did graduate there many years ago, about 40 years ago as an engineer, and I'm proud of that. And it's kind of fun to come full circle back home again. Um, so we are now taking tenancy into the bank building that is in downtown. The, um, uh, Amherst Works is closing or has closed. Um, and we would like to uh, assume our signage on the building um, so people can recognize who we are and that we are there and participate in the town festivities. Uh, we talked to the BID, we sponsored some of your Merry Maples. We're ready to engage all the local vendors. Um, one of the things we did do, which is very special, is we hired every local vendor that Amherst Works did. We're going to do the same idea. Um, we really want to promote Amherst 100%. So that's that's part of it. And this location, you can't beat it in the patio and everything else. So we've talked to Barry and other people and loaning out the patio for some of your festivities on Thursday nights. We're totally engaged in doing that. Um, we have. Uh, we, we've changed our employee footprint. So we used to be 35 people strong in Western Mass, but we're hiring talent throughout the United States and frankly, the world. So we have about 20 um, local commuters in a 50 mile radius that we may commute from this hybrid situation we're moving into, trying to figure it out um, what we can do, but certainly to get our signs out to show that we are downtown. That is our main goal and we're happy to be there. And I've been there for many hours over the last couple of weeks getting ready to roll this out. So it's pretty exciting to see the, the foot the foot traffic that we don't see when we're tucked into the back corner of University Drive. Um, so I have uh, images if you want me to show. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and Okay, so let's do share screen. So I'm the IT director, right? So I'm supposed to know everything Zoom. So I'll just I'll just call you out on that. So um, let's do let's do which screen? Let's do screen three. So let's do this one. Yep. Okay. Um, so uh, we are just simply putting our logo and branding right on top of the same signs that Amherst Works has, yeah. no changes. Um, we have a fancy logo. Our, our name is uh, a mouthful. It, it's C-A-I-A, 
but it does stand for a very long name that confuses many people and it's Chartered Alternative Investment <laughs> Analyst Association. So we knew if we just put our logo up, that wouldn't do any good. So we want to at least people know we're an association, we're a nonprofit um, organization that sets the global standard on alternate investments. Um, much of and, and so what we we administer an exam uh, twice a year, and it's a two-level process, uh, and, and it really teaches people about ethics um, when dealing with investments and things. It's uh, it's not stocks and bonds; it's some of the other things involved. But we have a few professors on our payroll out of UMass still that um, consult, and we're happy to keep them on board. And we're glad they are, because they, they're our founders, our founding, or they're still on uh, part of our staff. Um, so um, uh, simply putting our, uh, and, and so we, we call it Kaya, is the way we say it short. So we put our Kaya logo um, with the word association right on top of the Amherst, or, or replace the Amherst Works sign. Um, there also is a sign over the what used to be the ATM entrance, mm -hmm. the bank. Um, um, there is one on Main Street, and then there's a, a stand-up monument that has four sides on it that say Amherst Works today. So we would simply replace it with our logo and our association. Um, we have we have marketing standards we go by, so we don't uh, for branding rules and things. So we try to keep keep them intact. Um, uh, if to give you better perspective, I can actually show you, this is where it is now. Um, so if you drive by, you'll see this is the ATM. So we'll simply replace this with our, our Kaya Association and this large sign here. There is no illumination on the sign, uh, meaning backlight. It's going to be all from the existing spotlights. There's a spotlight here. And I think there's one over near this kiosk right there. There's the spotlight. Um, the, there is a side entrance from Main Street, and I can show you that here, and it's kind of hidden by the trees, and that would be similar, similar signage. So there's four places that we would <coughs> propose our association name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the color, is it uh, black? Uh, yeah. What, our, what yeah, if you look at our website, I mean, here's our website. We are, um, I'm, I'm two years in. So we are, yes, we are black and orange. Um, that black is and orange, logo okay. that is out there. We we give out um, what looks like chart, well, they're charter documents, kind of like diplomas, that, that once they're chartered, you can use the CAIA accreditation after your name. And that tells people that uh, you pass. <laughs> With the, with the marks of our st global standards. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go back to the. Uh, uh, so the front, the very front door of the building. Are you going to? Is that going to be closed like it is now? And uh, will you put signs on that like they did before, or are you people going to access through the front door? Um, the our our intention is to keep the patio locked, and it, it has a it has a padlock. Okay. Employees will enter through what was the ATM door, and and custom and anybody who wants to visit you would go through that same door, right? Yeah, that's correct, and it yeah. remains locked. Um, I'm also in charge of security, and it's all badged now, so okay. it's locked all the time. We have a doorbell, so okay. um, no stray people can kind of walk in. We're 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 not used to the foot traffic, so. We, we, we know keeping it locked all the time, uh, and, but we've talked to people as they, we kind of come and go. A lot of people are curious about us and yeah. they know Amherst Works has closed and they just are curious. Um, we do have some kind of freestanding signs that you can see through the glass just so our logo is there. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want to confuse some of the Amherst Works people. We had a few people kind of wander in while we were kind of prop the door open looking to yeah, okay, sure. Okay. Um, also, when Amherst Works came, they proposed the signage in, in the two places that you're replacing it. And then the, on the side, they ended up putting this big banner. And I don't know, Maureen, uh, we didn't give a, any um, support for that. It didn't look bad, but um, our, 
if they if this group would want to put anything more on the outside of the building, would that have to come back to the design review board? You see, unless over... it's um, temporary, um, meaning okay. that it's three weeks. Yeah, they they time. never got permission for that. Um, it didn't yeah, look yeah. bad, but it never came permit. Okay, that is. Just as thinking about the bigger picture. I thought we had it taken down. We took it down. So yeah, okay. It's, yeah. It's, it's, well, it wouldn't represent you, uh, but you, you, you might want to feel wild and crazy and put something else up. Then you'd have uh, to come back. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say unlikely. I, I know the staff it and I know how much effort it takes to go through some things and we've yeah. got plenty of work on our own. Yeah, time, that's right. So. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So let's hear from uh, Erica and Tom. Any thoughts that you want to pass on? Um, I'll be very brief. I think that it's a thank you for a thorough walkthrough. And it's also nice to know a little bit about the organization. Um, Tom's the typography guy. So I'm going to let him weigh in. Um, I'm just going to say that I think it's um, clean and readable. And I like it. And I'm glad to see the blue vinyls go away from the doors. I think that that will be a nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, re yeah, repositioning of the building facades. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Although I like the blue for the sign, but I agree, I didn't like the front door uh, with the blue panel. Okay, Tom. Sure. Yeah, my typography comment would be uh, there's not much you could do because you're stuck with this terrible sign. Yeah. Um, it, it is impossible to do anything that horizontal. Even Amherst works look terrible because it was there's too much sign and <laughs> too long. So, but I think I think this does a good job of setting a boundary and, and setting an edge. And I think you're right. If you just had CAIA or Kaya right in the middle of that, it would look like it was floating in space. So, yeah. um, adding association is is doing a lot of work here to spread that out. So I think I think it's fine. Um, I have no problems with it. And again, it's part of your brand standards. So I'm sure it's not something that we can argue with either way. Um, and same goes for the um, the monument sign. I think that seems appropriate as well. So yeah, um, yeah. so no, no concerns with these and uh, appreciate your presentation and all the information. Okay, very good. Okay, do I hear then, it looks like we're, we're in total agreement. Do I hear a motion that we approve this uh, petition for change in signage. So moved. Uh, Erica, Tom. Second. Okay. Um, I approve. So, uh, all in favor, raise your hand. Okay. All right. That was easy. Thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> it. We're looking forward to being part of the downtown. Sure. Business. Well, you're right there. Yeah, you're yeah, right there. Best of luck. <laughs> Can't right. get any closer. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Bye okay, now. Marie. Have a happy holiday. Yes. You Thank too. you. You too. Bye now. Okay. So next we have oh, uh, Jay uh, Parillo, uh, yeah. who uh, is representing uh, Back Bay Sign, who is the fabricator, I believe, for making the signs for Insomnia Cookies located at 30 Main Street. Um, Good evening. Jay. Okay, hello. Hello, so, yes. Uh, we are the um, installation company um, for this sign. Um, so this is the uh, Insomnia Cookies location, and they are seeking to upgrade their existing signage. Um, so the, the main part, main sign is to replace the existing uh, sign band with a new sign that is a low profile, very uh, thin cabinet that has push through lettering. <clears throat> and the purpose of that is so that only the logo and the lettering illuminate. So this is not a backlit sign. The uh, sign band would also be repainted uh, the that purple color. Um, and the rest of the package includes some window graphics and some uh, window signs very similar to what is there now. So this is basically just an upgrade of the uh, existing location. Okay. So you're going to show it to us? Um, I am not seeing a screen share option on my Zoom. Um, it should be in this bottom center uh, in green, the icon. Okay, here we go. 
And then you can just, uh, so as long as your document is open um, and when you click share screen, click uh, share, oh, share screen. <laughs> Or, okay. or, 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 or if uh, it'll maybe give you a preview of that document open. I can also share my screen as well. Yeah, I'm having trouble. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, give me one second. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hmm. Oh, uh, one second. You oh um you know what I didn't have yours um I had your application saved easily uh I know I have it so just I bear can, with me I can email to you I can I can share if you'd like Marie uh sure that'd be that'd be great actually sorry about that there we go am I, right am I sharing right, the right document yes. Okay. Oh, there you go. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, you yeah. just let me know there what image you'd like to be on. Sure. Yeah. So that what you're showing right now is the um, the change of the sign band, which is not changing the size of the sign band. In fact, the um, the new sign is actually a tiny bit smaller because their logo. The, this sign isn't going to be as wide as the existing sign. Um, so this is this is a using the existing sign band. This is a sign mm -hmm. cabinet that is mounted to that. But then, and on the last page of the package, it shows um, the construction of that, which right there, that I'm sorry, second to last page, right there. That So this shows the sign cabinet, which is <laughs> like three and five eighth inches deep. And the letters are uh, pushed through the aluminum so that only the lettering and the logo illuminate. So, okay. Could you talk a little bit about the, the vinyls as well? Yep, and if you scroll up, it shows the layouts for the, uh, for the graphics. Um, we have in the left window, warm cookies delivered. We have the um, logos mounted to either side of the door. And then there's also uh, this striping which will be up against the window. That is um, not going to look as strong as it does on that foot on that simulation. <laughs> What's the purpose of that striping? What? It's just a it's a branding thing that they've done at all their other locations. It, it's, oh, kind of, it's like warm cookies. That's um, supposed to remind you of warm cookies. I guess, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. So maybe maybe it worked for somebody. Um, <laughs> Okay. And then if you scroll down to the, the uh, next page, um, there are uh, proposed uh, two window signs that are mounted on the inside of the store. One of them is just going to replace the existing open okay. sign over the left window. And then on the right window, there's another proposed sign uh, that says you up, um, which I've I believe the store is going to be open till 11 p.m. So this is just to remind people that they are open late for late night snacks. It doesn't seem, I mean, it's not our business. It doesn't seem too late for Amherst. I mean, I think <laughs> it's 2 o'clock, 2, 2 a.m. <laughs> okay, so uh, any uh, suggestions or thoughts from the board, it doesn't look like a radical difference except those little stripey things. Yeah, no, I mean, I, th I think the package is pretty elegant. I mean, I, I you know, I think the, the knockout um, or punch through typography and logo is gonna look super sharp. Um, uh -huh. uh, I, I like how that's gonna throw light um, just to those items and not um, out into the, the street, which is, which is great. Um, I'm not sure about those little warm fuzzies, but um, you know, if that's part of the brand package, I'd be interested to know if those are like solid white vinyl or if they're a little translucent or you know, what, whether they're on the inside or the outside of the glass. It, the, the package says that it's a 3M printed graphic, but if you would prefer that they have some transparency, I can certainly make sure that happens. 
Well, I think because I think it's just based on the fact that you said they weren't, they probably wouldn't present quite so bright. And I've done mock-ups like this before, but um, I feel like it'd be pretty cool if they were. So I, don't, I mean, I don't mind them how they are. I just think it might be <laughs> might be a better option for them. Yeah. Um, for people to see into the store if they had a little bit yes. of translucency. So it's just a, yeah. I would say it's a soft recommendation. Sure, sure, absolutely. I actually, sense. I really like the idea of making them a little, um, a little softer. I, I find them to be bizarre. Um, <laughs> and there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of signage going on between the, the neon and the, um, yeah. the window graphics. And I, I think that uh, for the most part, it's it's. I mean, it's it's a kind of cool, hip spot. It's purple <laughs> in a sea of brick. It it does its job, um, but I think that those um, squiggles. I, I like the idea of them being translucent. Yeah, are they on those little wavy things? They're on two so, uh, on two windows, right? Three. Uh, are they on three? Are they on the end? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It would, yeah. It'd be three. Yeah. That's okay. Right. Three. Yeah. That's a, well. That's if that's what they do. That's what they do. Is a lot of squiggles. I think but, it'd be more steamy. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see it as steam. Okay, now it's steam. But. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the, the materials are out there. It's still cut vinyl, and from a cost perspective, I don't think yeah. it's gonna right blow the top off their budget so i mean i think it would be a recommendation to stuff because i mean it's the only thing i see right now <laughs> and i think yeah. a lot of people are going to so see that distracting. it's yeah. really yeah distracting. and then for something that low on the street it's going to be at eye level for a lot of people i'd, I'd like to see it softer mm -hmm. okay. yeah i think if it were a simpler facade you know like just a, like a long simple storefront it might work yeah. really well but there's just there's a lot of architecture going on here yeah like it's yeah a lot of signage lots of different uh displays yeah and some of them I, I really like i mean i think the you up i think that's cute i think it's fun it's not huge it just it feels like the right idea um, i'm totally fine with that which is yeah. probably the most obnoxious thing there and that feels feels okay but <laughs> those squiggles are really driving me nuts yeah. um just i think they're i think we're gonna hear about them if we don't say something <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could put a sign with an arrow pointing down to them saying mm -hmm. steaming cookies or some people want to say that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, are there any other comments or suggestions for uh, no. this proposal? All right. Maureen, you have more. Or less. Okay. So it seems like our basic suggestion would be to perhaps adjust those wavies to make them lighter and more transparent. Okay, all right. Okay, do I have a motion that to approve the proposed changes? So moved. Okay. Approved Erica. with changes. Okay, Eric, uh, second. second. Okay, Catherine, yes. Okay, so all in favor, raise your hand. There's three of us. Okay, all right. Great, Done. thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Appreciate it. Good. Have a good Thank evening. You, <laughs> good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. So, Maureen, do we have any public comments? Anybody from the um, public? Okay. No, no, unfortunately, no members of the public this evening. <laughs> Nobody wanted to hear about all this. No. Okay. Anything and else? And I actually had the meeting minutes done for November 2nd or 9th, whenever that second, um, but I, for, I forgot to email them to you. Okay. So, all right. Amen. Okay, so you think we've done our good deed for the? I think we have. Okay. Right. All right. Served our purpose. Okay. Um, All right. Then I suggest that we adjourn the meeting unless unless there's somebody who wants to stay longer and talk about. I second something. that. Okay. <laughs> Me too. All right. Okay. Paul doesn't have enough meeting. <laughs> okay, All right, guys. Have a great holiday. holidays, everybody. You as well. Okay. See you guys. All right. Bye. Thanks, everyone.